Good evening, how are you? I'm uh, Bernhard Kappa, the uh, organizer of uh, Chicago Lean uh, Startup Circle, uh, along with my co-organizers, uh, Dan Wellish and uh, Brandon McNamara, as well as Eduardo Fernandez, who couldn't be here uh, this evening. Um, what we've started to do over the last couple meetings, uh, because we have a lot of new members, is do a little bit of uh, a two or it's actually more like five minute uh, presentation on sort of the basics of Lean Startup for those of you who uh, already know all about it and have read the books and are practicing it. Please bear with me. It's only only a couple minutes. Uh, so let me start on that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually do a little game with you guys, which is name the company. Now, it's not really fair, but this is the first product that this particular company did, uh, Enterprise Search. <laughs> Anyone care to guess what uh, what the company was? Alta Vista. Well, uh, that may be, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Hoover's? <laughs> that's not the one I'm looking for. One more. Google. So, that's what they started out doing. That's what they thought their market was. Enterprise search. And they went after that and they found that's not where their market was. It is now, to some extent, but their bread and butter is in, you know, in general internet search. How about this one? Uh, it's a company that started out and they got funding and everything for encryption software for handhelds. PayPal. PayPal, that is right. Very good. Um, that's what they started out doing, but, you know, as they were going through this, they weren't doing that well and they found other things uh, that were actually... Um, uh, you know, what they turned into a uh, multi-million and probably billion-dollar business uh, in, in the hands of eBay at this point. Um, okay, this one is a company that started out doing directory and search destination website for RSS syndication, RSS syndicated audio and video. Who's this? Anyone? Twitter. That is what they started doing. Odeo is what they started out with, and it wasn't wasn't really happening. And then they had a brainstorm and came up with Twitter, and they thought it was great, and everyone else said, what? And uh, some people are still saying, what about it? Okay, this one is one uh, an online role-playing game uh, called Game Never Ending. Twitter. Huh? Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> How about another one? Oh, you know that. Yes, very good. Okay, I'm gonna have to do so to do some uh, do some other ones next time. Um, so what's what's my point in this? The point is they were wrong. They had a great business plan. They got money, but they were wrong. Uh, they survived anyway because they were able to change and pivot, but they were wrong, and you're wrong too. You just you know you may I, I hear this all the time. But this one's different, you know. This is the one. I have all the business plan, everything all worked out. In reality, no business plan survives the first customer contact. And in reality, nine out of ten new products fail. So why is that? I mean, most of the time it's because of a lack of customers and markets, but a lot of time it's static business plans, lots of invalid assumptions, invalid testing of those assumptions and you know you, you get the money and you start pouring it in and you're trying to adjust your business model as you're going through it you're trying to adjust it at scale that's a very very expensive thing to do so is there a better way of doing this um, so really if you start by understanding that you have assumptions for your business model and documenting those assumptions validating or invalidating those assumptions um, and when you invalidate those assumptions, change your business model and test again. When you change your business model, one way of calling that is a pivot, and doing all that by being lean, doing just enough work to validate or invalidate, uh, and iterate and pivot and doing this as cheaply and as quickly as possible, and once you have a validated business model, scaling it. That's called a lean startup. That is what, what we are about. Now there's a lot to this. If we sort of peel peel this back, uh, when I say business model, 
you're really looking at customer segments. What are those customer segments that you're looking at? What's the value proposition for, the, and what's your customer relationship? Uh, the channels and the revenue model on the one side, key activities, key resources, uh, key partners, and your cost model. There are a whole bunch of assumptions that are in there. This is called a business model canvas, um, and it's one thing that we use in customer development lean startup to kind of document those assumptions. Um, the testing process we use in a lean startup uh, is called customer development. It's a four-stage process. Uh, customer discovery, customer validation, creation, and then company building. The first part of that um, is the search part where you're really trying to figure out your business model. Uh, you're, you're searching for your business model by doing customer discovery and then, then uh, uh, customer validation. Once you've found it, you've gotten product market fit and a scalable uh, and, uh, and sustainable sales model. You can start pouring money in. That's the time when you want to start pouring men in, in and you're creating customers and building the company at that point. Um, so if there's, you know, the, the first thing that, that uh, the first lesson is question your assumptions, they're wrong. The second one, and if it's one thing that you guys should get out of this, is get out of the building. So that means the way you find this, find out, and the way you validate a lot of these things is really by going and talking to prospective customers. You've found a potential customer segment, you've got to go out and talk to those people. Doesn't mean you're selling to those people. In fact, that's the worst thing you can do. You're trying to first find out, is there, do they have a problem? Is it a big enough problem? Um, is it a, a morphine problem rather than a, uh, uh, an aspirin or a vitamin problem? And do you have a solution for that? You're trying to do find out problem solution fit, and then you know if you, if you, there's a whole bunch of things you do to try to validate the various assumptions by going out and talking to those people. It's most of the time a lot of these people are actually happy to do that um, because you're not selling to them. They're helping you to solve a problem, um, and they're able to talk to your uh, about their problems to you. So. Uh, getting out of the building is like one of the the key things out of out of the whole customer development lean startup uh, movement. There's a whole bunch more. Uh, I only have uh, a few minutes, so if you actually uh, uh, you know want to know more about it, there's three books I highly highly recommend. Um, the Four Steps to the Epiphany by uh, Steve Blank, which kind of started the whole uh, customer develop process, uh, to development process uh, development method and the discussion and spawned all of these things. It's a um, thick book that's very difficult to get through. Buy it and you know get the first few chapters of it and then sort of go back to it. Um, the Entrepreneur's Guide to Customer Development by uh, Brant Cooper and Patrick Blaskowitz. They, uh, they were here beginning of November, I think, uh, to talk to the group. It's much more, uh, uh, it's a much faster read. Uh, uh, but 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 well worth it. And the last one is the business model generation uh, book, which is it talks it talks about the whole business model canvas and how you uh, how you sort of go through those assumptions and different types of business models, etc. They all three kind of work uh, work well together. Um, there's a couple of blogs. There's lots of blogs out there. C. Blank's blog is whenever he reads something, writes something, read it because he's continuing to move uh, move the ball forward and. Uh, and, uh, and develop this, and um, Eric Reese, who coined the, uh, the term Lean Startup, um, uh, and then there's a particular presentation by uh, Blank and Osterwald. I'll put this presentation up on, uh, on, the, uh, on the Meetup group. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, and, and you know, want to know more about this or talk to us, you can, by all means, uh, talk to me, shoot me an email, or talk to uh, uh, my co-organizers. Thanks a lot. Um, 